Welcome back to 123 Geek. Let's get started. Thank you so much for coming back to 123 Geek, and we actually are going to talk about the Ryzen Gen 3 processors that were released uh, actually last week, a week, this week. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the where it starts and kind of where it ends. So there is it starts at the Ryzen 3 3200G, and that's at a four core four thread, six point, uh, 3.6 to 4 gigahertz, $99 processor, which is actually pretty good for a four core, four thread. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm guessing that the four gigahertz is probably the overclockability. Now, uh, I want to also uh, go over, I'm gonna go, that's the low, and then the high is the Ryzen 9 3950X. Now that is a 16 core, 32 thread, 3.5 to 4.7 gigahertz processor, and that goes up to $749. Now, to me, that is, I mean, that's an astounding number. And what's crazy about that is, Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get my a hold of my, you know, get some my hands on it. I, I would have loved if I, I don't have sponsors. I haven't even reached out. I don't even have enough subscribers for uh, any of these, you know, big tech companies to uh, really care what I have to say or to show people. And um, honestly, uh, I kind of just want to go over some of the things. So. 15 out of 30 benchmarks that were tested by uh, several sources have shown that the uh, Ryzen, the new Ryzen, and it's actually going to go, I'm going to go with the 3700X, that one actually either outperforms or keeps up with any of the Intel processors uh, for consumers. And that's, I mean, pretty great. Uh, in, in my opinion, I, I, I couldn't... It's just, it, that's really, it's really good. It's really good. And the, the thing is, is that uh, on a price per frame, the Ryzen uh, 3700X actually is better uh, than the Intel 8700K, which is what I currently am using in my PC. And the thing is, is that uh, per frame, it's uh, 2.46 cents. Um, so $2.46 for the Ryzen, and for the Intel, it's 2.79 cents, or $2.79 per frame. And uh, it wins. I mean, it really does win. When it comes to the benchmarks, and these are like in Cinebench and, and stuff like that, Ryzen absolutely destroys Intel when it comes to the Cinebench benchmarking and that's pretty great um, one thing that I did see is that <laughs> the Ryzen has I mean even though it is seven nanometer uh, architecture it's still you know a little too uh, still consumes a little bit more energy um, but one of the things is that uh, the overclockability Intel can't keep up with overclockability at all. They just can't. Um, they, uh, all the testing that's been shown, Intel just can't keep up. And it really seems to me that uh, AMD is really starting to take the crown as the new processor to have again. And I'm really happy. I was always an AMD uh, fan, especially like I, like I said in a previous episode, uh, when AMD, what came out with this the Athlon 64 that changed for that changed everything for everybody and it was you know pretty exciting at that time and to me this is again that exciting time so you know I'm going to put a link in uh, one of the citations or one of the citations I'm gonna put a link in the description below so that you can see for yourself the uh, 
you know, the tests that were run and their thoughts of what they are seeing. And please, you know, let me know what you think of the new Ryzen Gen 3. Tell me your thoughts, what you expect, if you think you're going to go out and buy one and build a Ryzen machine. And, uh, you know, just, just let me know. And uh, please, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, you know, click the bell icon. And that kind of, that really does help me so you can actually see when I put out a new video. And, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. Um, all of that is actually interaction and it helps me uh, on YouTube and I'm really trying to get out there. I am doing a uh, giveaway at 100 subs that's either going to be a Raspberry Pi for Model B or a, uh, a game of your choice um, with a 123 Geek t-shirt and that's for both of them. You get a 123 Geek t-shirt uh, but you only get to choose one of those two prizes. And um, anyway, thank you so much for stopping by 123Geek. Have a fantastic week.